Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Shadow Tactics uh, Hardcore Speedruns. Getting through Nakasendo Road pretty quickly here. I played around with this section a little bit and I think just running past these guys is way faster than killing them. As soon as you hit the cutscene, um, they're no longer relevant. They can no longer really affect you anymore. Um, now I use Yuki to trap and kill these guys and I found that if you whistle before setting the trap, you, ha you still have enough time to get the trap finished and get to cover, but it's significantly faster than the other way around, where you have to just sit and wait as the guards approach the trap. I'm not 100% sure that you actually have to kill these guys, to be perfectly honest with you. Alright, so we kill this, uh, we kill this guy because he makes it harder for us to kill the patrolling straw hat and then we have to hide the body because uh, or the patrolling officer rather and we have to hide the body because otherwise the patrolling officer will find it and set off the alarm and the last thing we want is an alarm set off if you want to kill this guard with the falling rock this little uh, spot of sunlight on the ground is there specifically to help you figure out what the timing is. You want to kill the guard as he enters that little bit of sunlight that definitely shouldn't be there. Right, you can kill basically everybody over here and just leave their bodies in the open as long as you get rid of this guy right here, the uh, patrolling officer, before he gets back over there. Now, you can't stab him right where he stops his patrol because he's within audio range of the civilian. You, you need to wait for him to take like a step or two in any direction. And he'll walk around a little bit looking for the guy who's, uh, who is supposed to be standing here for him to talk to. And with that, we are at three officers dead as soon as this happens. And there's another officer right at the, uh, right at the mission exit point, so we can completely ignore the rest of the level. The whole northern half of the level is irrelevant. Now this part's a little tricky. I don't really know what the best way of doing this is. I, uh, as you're about to see, I basically get a little bit lucky here. So we wait for this dude to pass, we kill the officer, and then the mission ends as soon as you enter the bush next to the little statue. Uh, unfortunately, I kinda got seen. But as everybody closes up on the bush, they temporarily lose sight of you, and seriously, all you have to do is get in the bush, and the mission ends instantly. So that one turned out actually to be pretty easy. It took a little bit of doing to get that last section right, I will admit, I, uh, I died more than once. Uh, but, again, given a huge amount more time than you needed. I saw the really tight timer on this one, and I got pretty concerned, but as you can see, we knocked it out in, uh, in no time at all. So, come back next time. Uh, for Imai Town, which I assume is going to be a tremendous amount more difficult. <laughs> and we'll see you then.